everyone welcome to my channel my name is Daisha I am the owner of PGL planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything faith and planning welcome to today welcome to this tutorial if you are new here don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new and once again welcome so we're gonna be doing a very brief tutorial on how to start using your planner in GoodNotes. I am going to actually start this tutorial out on my iPad mini and then we'll kick it off on my iPad 10th generation. So give me one second. All right, so when you purchase my planner from Etsy, let me make sure this is focused in, or any of my products, you're going to be taken to this particular sheet. It's gonna give you the product files, the join Discord, which I highly recommend. Any questions for app specific things can be answered in there. We literally have chats for Pinly, Zoom Notes, Noden. You can make a chat for an app that you're using and get all sorts of conversation going on in there with other women who use that particular app. And then of course you can connect with me here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the product files. And it's going to take us into this segment here for the Dropbox, or it may open up an app for you automatically. I personally like to use the open in browser. The app sometimes can be quite finicky. From here, you'll go ahead and you'll click on the planner and you're going to download it, or you can uh, do it on the side, but let me just flip this real quick. I'm going to download it from the top and then I'm going to open it in GoodNotes. You can do it from here or you can hit the share button at the top and scroll down and hit open in GoodNotes. Now, I recommend making a 2025 folder inside of GoodNotes. I'm gonna import it into that 2025 planner folder I made as a new document. Once I've done that, I will have the planner inside of there. Now, if I go back, Okay, sorry for that very awkward, weird cutoff and awkward pause. But anyways, so if you go in here, you'll notice two other folders. It's gonna say mini month decor, and it's also gonna say months. All of these sticker sheets, the ones you've purchased, including this, are gonna function the exact same way, so I'm only gonna show the example for the mini months. You're gonna go in here, and you're gonna download it the same way we just did the planner. This is a good notes specific file. Now you do not have to use your planner in GoodNotes just because the sticker book is from GoodNotes. The good thing about GoodNotes is it's pretty much tied into the OS of an iPad, so you can drag and drop this into majority of apps, which is why I normally will do my sticker books in GoodNotes. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this, knowing you guys, I do use Zoom Notes, but I drag my stickers in from GoodNotes into Zoom Notes because it's just easier to do it that way. And we're going to go ahead and import it as a new file inside of the 2024, uh, 2025 folder, excuse me. And so now I'm going to move over into this device. Oop. All right, we're back. So with this planner, there's different ways that you can use this, but I'm going to show you the way that I recommend you do it. And then my last example is going to be showing you how you can do it if you prefer it the other way. Now, if you've purchased uh, inserts from me, go ahead and download them the exact same way that I showed you and put them all inside of a folder. That way everything is organized. I downloaded a few for examples because I'm not using GoodNotes for mine, but if you intend to use GoodNotes, put every insert, every sticker, whatever it is inside of one folder, it's gonna make a lot your life a lot easier. Specifically the inserts, you can put your stickers in another folder, but the inserts in one folder, okay? And I'll explain why in a second here. Anywho, so when you do have your planner, you can click into here, you can write however you want. It's a PDF document and this is a PDF annotation app. So of course you can write your name and all of those things in here. Of course you can do it a lot neater than I'm doing it right now. I don't really write that well from this angle. I normally have to turn mine. So we're gonna ignore my ugly handwriting, but you'll click the pen to go back into, uh, what is it, moving mode? whatever the case may be where you can click the links and then to go into edit mode you will click the little arrow down here and you can do it from here now i do think that good notes came out with a feature where you can yeah with your finger you can click around the links without having to be in read mode but you know that's completely up to you so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up the month of december i'm going to click into the month of december 
and we're going to use some of the things that we have. So I'm going to open up into split view. You can also do a pop out view if you want to, but because of the planner size and my document size here, I can work pretty well inside of this mode. Um, but once again, you can drag and drop and do it this way too. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it this way. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to pretend a little bit. Um, I just did the unboxing for the December uh, box. So I'm gonna use some of the stickers from that since this is for the month of December. So I'm gonna swipe in my sticker book that I've brought in the same way that I showed you to do the month stickers. And I'm gonna grab a few things. So if I'm gonna do priorities, Oop. make sure you're on the lasso tool first before you do like me and write on stuff. I'm going to pretend like one of my priorities is that I have meetings this month. I'm also going to pretend like I have work a lot more this month or certain work tasks that I need to do. And then I'm going to also put Christmas because that is a priority for me within not Christmas Eve, Daisha. We need the word Christmas. There we are as a priority. Okay. And then from here, you can go in and write what those priorities might be. And I'm not gonna do too much. Ooh, that's tiny. She's tiny. We're gonna go with this size. There we go. You can go in and like bullet point these if you want. And then I'm gonna go and grab stickers. I'm not gonna fully set this up, y'all. I'm just gonna do this side because once you see me do this, you'll get an idea of what I'm saying as far as like this is concerned because I know some people are literally just starting with digital planning I want to provide some examples so for me I would be working on stickers can I just y'all let me turn it a little bit okay so stickers it's still ugly <laughs> whatever um, stickers and then planner inserts there we go it's a little bit better I'm not used to writing in good notes the pens in these apps are different so it's really up to you um, if you wanna do a font instead of maybe your handwriting. And yes, I, I cannot write in this app. Let me. Yes, I got quiet. We're not gonna talk about it. And I'm shaking the camera and everything and it's crooked, but you get my point. So you can write, you can bring your stickers in that way. Now I'm gonna show you how you can make the planner cute using some of the more elaborate goodies that you have in here. So one of the things that my ladies really love, and I think we're gonna use a blank page for this. So we're gonna go into the index and we have a blank daily that we're gonna use just to work with, okay? So one of the things my ladies really love are like Dutch doors and like pockets and things like that. So we're gonna have fun with it. This is an open binder. So I include open binder situations in here. So we're gonna use the open binder one to decorate. We're gonna drag her out until she essentially fits the rings. And you can kind of zoom in and see like whether you're in line or not. Oh my gosh. There we go. And so now we have that there. I'm not used to using GoodNotes either, so that's why this may look a little awkward, um, but I'm doing my best, you guys, bear with me. And then let's build up a pocket. Let's have some fun with pockets. So say that we're getting away from the pockets, I believe. <laughs> we are, yeah, we're headed toward the front. Let's go, ooh, actually, let's go with one of these. You can take, I'm gonna do the car, and you can size this here and then you can crop it down. That way your Dutch door over here is decorated a little bit. Let's just crop it slightly. We probably won't even see this, but we're gonna do it anyways, cause why not? So we're gonna do it like that. And now let's get back to getting that pocket. So we're gonna do this pocket, I think, just because I feel like it's gonna do us the most favors. Well, actually it's not, cause look, we can't even see the thing. Actually, let's, delete it let's grab it again let's actually grab hmm, let's grab a tree let's grab a tree I forget we have we can do layers in good notes right so let's cut this again let's go crop let's slide it over hit done 
and then we can arrange this. If you tap and hit arrange, you can send it back. And now that image is behind your rings and we can put our pocket back and it'll actually look like there's something underneath there, which is super, super cute. I meant to get an editable pocket, so I'm actually gonna delete this and get one that you can edit. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. All right, so let's go with this size and shrink it down and boom. And so now you can put stuff in your pocket. So let's see here. For this particular thing, because we have red over here, we need to bring red on this side of the paper. And I always start talking to myself and getting into design mode when I'm doing these. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pocket. I'm gonna grab the blue one and I'm gonna pop it right about here. And then I'm gonna grab a paper stack, which I know I have one in here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab this house because once again, I want to bring that red over here. And I wanna put it up a little bit so that when I do put my pockets on it, I will still see it. And of course, another easy way to get through these is just to do this. And so now I'm gonna pop my little pocket here. And so now I have things in my pocket and I can kind of adjust it as I need to, right? Look how cute that is. And then we'll go to the front. This will be the last thing we do with the pockets and like the decor, because I just wanted to show you why the ladies that have been with me for so long love it so much. Let's just pop our little reindeer right here. Let's let his ears hang off a little bit. Like so. Ooh, no, we're not trying to make him skinny. We like his little chunky face. Let's put him here and tilt him maybe here-ish since GoodNotes doesn't let you work off page. We gotta make him look like he's clasped, but he's still hanging off. He's hanging on. So that's how you can set up a pocket situation in GoodNotes and make it look adorable. And let me bring you in a little bit more. So that's how you can do that. Now, let's go ahead and go back into December and let's use that custom section. Now this is where my tips are gonna come in for how you can add inserts in and link them. So GoodNotes has two options just like ZoomNotes does and I discovered this when practicing how to use GoodNotes because I totally forgot. I'm gonna show you the way I recommend it which is external linking which would mean you would bring no inserts into your planner, you would link to those out or external documents from your planner which is super convenient. So the first thing we're gonna do is I like to organize this. I like to have a list of what is, is, what is exact, <laughs> what exactly is in my planner. So I'm gonna label this lesson planner. Look at my handwriting all of a sudden getting right. So now we're gonna use the link markers. I'm gonna use the one at the top just because it's at the top. Now with good notes, you can use the shorter ones, but you are gonna need to uh, use your text tool on them because text is how you link in GoodNotes. You cannot link stickers yet. I'm sure at some point they'll add it, but you are gonna wanna use text. So anyways, we're gonna go into our text and I've already got a font going on. I'm just gonna go ahead and write in here. I'm gonna write lesson planner or I'm gonna type it, which is fine. Saves time in case it looks, it seems like I'm typing it wrong to good notes or something. And we're gonna go ahead and center that. And so now I'm gonna click this like so, and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna hit add link. Now, where it says document, this document, click it, okay? And so now we're gonna go into the 2025 planner folder we made and we're gonna decide which document we wanna link this to. I'm doing a lesson planner, so I'm gonna link it to my lesson planner template and I'm gonna hit select. Once I've done that, you can decide which page you wanna do inside of the lesson planner, which I only have one page, but you can, you know, if you have more pages, you can click in there to do that. And then we're gonna hit done. And you'll know it's finished because you'll see this dotted line underneath it. Now, when we click, click the link, 
it's going to take us into that lesson planner template. And we didn't even have to add it into our planner, which means you're not going to weigh your planner down with pages. So you can do that over and over again. And I'm going to show you something. To get back into your planner, what you're going to do is the exact same thing. So we're going to pull that in. I had to update GoodNotes, so that's why there's an awkward jump or what feels like an awkward jump there is that I had to update my good notes. I did it on my iPad mini yesterday and I forgot to do it on this. Uh-oh, what did I do with my, oh, I put it here. Y'all, hold on, okay. Sorry, I had moved the icon, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that same sticker here, but we're gonna link ourselves back into our planner. That way, no matter where you are in your document, you can get back into your planner since this is externally linked and it's not inside of your planner. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our text again. Where is it? There it is. Sorry, y'all. GoodNotes is awkward for me, you guys. I don't use it on a regular basis. It took me a little while to actually learn this, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna put 2025 planner. You can label it just planner. I honestly don't even know why I'm calling it 2025 planner. Seems kind of extra, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're going to link it back into our planner. And so we don't want it to go to this document. We want it to go back to our planner. So we're gonna go into the folder. We're gonna select the planner that we want it to go to, hit select. And then we're gonna choose the page we want it to go to. Cause remember we don't want it to go to this page. We want it to go to, like, we don't want it to go back to our cover. We want it to go back to the page we were on. So it was one pa uh, page 115. And so now we have that link. We can go ahead and go here and click it. So now let's test out these links. It was giving me a hard time, but here we go. So it takes us to the lesson planner and then it takes us back to our planner. I think it just needed to load itself up. I can tell that this is probably maybe a new feature because it seems to like kind of be finicky. But you see how now we're back into our planner and you can do that for all of the inserts. So you don't have to put it inside of your planner. Now the last thing that I'm going to show you all is putting the inserts inside of your planner in case that's something that you do wanna do and you don't want it to be external. So we're gonna use, we're gonna do, we'll do the lesson planner one again just because I don't remember which templates I actually brought in here. And we're gonna go ahead, once we've labeled it, we're gonna go ahead and go to our lesson planner template and we're gonna copy the page. You can also import this via the little uh, thingamajig by going, I believe here, and hitting edit, and then hitting, um, no, it has to be over here then. Yeah, import, you can import documents from over here, but we're gonna go ahead and just copy and paste it from the templates because like I said, bring all of your templates into a folder, that way you don't have to worry about that. Select the page you wanna paste it to, or since you've already copied the page, go to the add page and you want it to go after, and you're gonna go ahead and hit paste page. And boom, we have the lesson planner behind this now. So now we're just gonna create another link like we've been doing. I'm gonna use the same sticker, which is this. I'm gonna drag and drop it, shrink it down. Of course, you know, you can use different ones, have fun with it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our text. We're gonna write lesson planner. It's really tiny. And we're gonna go ahead and center it. And then from there, we're gonna link it. I'm gonna hit add link. And we know that it's this document. And for us, it is the next page, but if it's not, you can always go here. I'm gonna hit cancel because it is the next page for us. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. We have the link made. And once again, you can tell because you'll see that little dotted line underneath. And 
when we press it, it's gonna take us to that next page. And GoodNotes has a new feature where it'll take you back to the previous page you were on if you do click a link. So that's really nice. But that is how you will bring inserts into your planner. Now, I hope that this tutorial helped kind of get you started in GoodNotes as far as like how to use it, um, how you can use your link markers to link up your planner. Um, once again, you know, just join the Discord. That way, if there are super specific questions that you have, you can ask in there and it will be a lot easier because then we can answer more immediate. But I just wanted to give a brief walkthrough of how to actually use this planner inside of GoodNotes. I hope this helps once again. Uh, ask questions down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new. And I will talk to you all later.